guys welcome back okay so today I had a lot of fun playing in a new palette that was actually sent to me from Nomad Cosmetics okay they sent me their Lake Como palette <laughs> Lake Como palette and the reason why I got sent some goodies from Nomad Cosmetics is because I got selected to be a starfish of the month so um, I got picked to be one of their starfish, which means that I get to receive some nice little goodies to play with. <laughs> so I really, really appreciate that. This video is not sponsored. They were sent to me just for me to enjoy, not to review or anything like that, but y'all know me, of course. And it's blue, okay? So you guys know I love blue, I love purple, so... Yeah, I was definitely going to play in this palette. They also sent me a couple of their new Studio 54 highlighters. So this one here is called Disco Nights. Very, very cute. Look at this packaging. So cute. And this one here is called Hot Shot. Very, very pretty. So I will open these up, swatch them for you guys because I didn't use these today. They're a little bit aggressive for highlighters for me, but I definitely want to use these on my eyes. So I'm just gonna swatch them for you today since I didn't use them. But this palette, okay, this Lake Como palette. Look at these shades in here, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous, so, so pretty. I believe there are, let me read what it says here about this palette for you guys, just to give you some more information on it. This is the Lake Como palette, intense eyeshadow palette, velvety soft and blendable eyeshadows formulated with extra fine pigments, nine fresh rich shades inspired by living La Dolce Vida, La Dolce Vida. <laughs> at Lake Como in the summertime. Five mattes, four soft shimmer finishes infused with organic grapeseed oil for vibrant and long wearing color, cruelty free and vegan, okay? <laughs> now this retails for $27. I'm looking on the website right now and it says here they have a 30% off summer trip to Italy sale. Use code ITALYSUMMER30, okay? so. I don't know how long that's going on, but that's pretty cool. So this palette, very, very pretty, absolutely gorgeous. I used it to create this look today. Like I said, thank you to Nomad Cosmetics for picking me to be a starfish this month. I know I got nominated um, by a couple of people, one of which was Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. Thank you, beautiful. <laughs> for putting my name out there, you know, so I do appreciate that. And anyone else who might have uh, nominated me as a starfish candidate, thank you so much. So let's go ahead and jump into some swatches for this palette and these highlighters. And then, oh, I also wanted to mention, so nice when they send something to you in the mail because I have purchased from them before. If you've already seen my video using, uh, well, I've used both of these palettes actually. I used the Tokyo palette, very, very beautiful pastel palette. Oh my gosh, the shimmers in here, you guys, absolutely gorgeous. So I did purchase this palette and do a video testing it out, absolutely love it. So if you're curious about that, you can check my video out on that. I also used this palette as well. Now this one is the Berlin palette, but I got this in an Ipsy box, I believe, or Ipsy bag. It was probably like the Glam Plus or something, but I received this palette in my Ipsy, which I don't have the Ipsy subscription anymore, but I did do a try on using this palette and I was very, very surprised because with their shadows, it can throw you off a little bit because they don't have those super, like, how can I say? They don't have the type of shadows where you look at them and you're like, okay, that's gonna be very shimmery, bright, foiled, stuff like that. They don't have those type of shimmers in these palettes. And so when you look at them, you're kind of like, is that a matte? Is it a shimmer? You know, because the shimmers are more soft, kind of like satins. 
but when I use this palette and it is kind of like a different eclectic blend of shades I was very surprised I loved it you guys know I had that green on my lid so so pretty so yeah I love this palette as well so Nomad has a really nice formula if you guys are interested in trying them out but like I was saying, they do send out this cute little card, you know, kind of keeping with the whole theme of travel because all of their products and palettes and stuff are curated by them from places that they travel to and they get inspiration from these different places, which is really cool. I wish I could do that, okay? <laughs> I love to travel. But they sent this cute little postcard and it has a personalized message on here. It says, Dear Camille, thank you so much for your positive light in the beauty community. C congrats on being selected as a starfish for July. So excited to have you on board. So very, very cute. I love it, okay? So like I said, let's go ahead and jump into some swatches. I think I'm gonna swatch these cute little highlighters first because I wasn't able to use them and I'm really excited to swatch them. I will say, because the design of these highlighters is so cute, I hate to mess it up. I'll show you what I mean. So this one is Disco Nights. Look at this packaging, okay? So pretty. And this is the back. But this is what the highlighter looks like. So it has a little 54 imprinted in there. So, so pretty. So I'm definitely like, ah, I hate to mess it up, but we are gonna swatch it today, okay? So let me just get a nice amount on my fingers so you guys can see what it looks like. So that is what that highlighter looks like. Very pretty and actually looking at that I could have used that today I was thinking that it was gonna have more of like a glittery look to it but no it translates really really nicely on the skin that is very pretty and you guys probably can't see it but it does kind of have like a gold a gold to orange shift very very pretty I don't know if you can see that but it's absolutely gorgeous now this next one here is Hot Shot. Very pretty pink packaging, so, so cute. Same on the back. And let me go ahead and show you this one. So this one definitely has like that really pretty kind of like pink fuchsia type look. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Um, hold on, wait, hold on. <laughs> Now, this one truly has a shift. Do you see that? Oh my goodness, definitely going on my eyes. For sure going on my eyes one day. Oh, that's gorgeous. Can you see that? Very, very pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. So, this one is Hot Shot. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the swatches for this palette. I'm just going to swatch it, what is it? Row by row. <laughs> So these are what the shadows look like you guys as you saw I did go in and build up the mattes so you can see the true color in pigmentation but this color story is so gorgeous and if you guys don't know already I love being on the water I wish I lived by the water because I would be out there in that water all the time I'm definitely like a beach boat out there swimming like a fish <laughs> type of girl so this color scheme is right up my alley I love it love it love it so if you would like to see how I created this bold blue cut crease eye look today stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys so to start out this look today I'm going to be prepping my lids with my P Louise base in the shade rumor 04 now the first shadow that I am going in on my crease with is this really dark blue matte shade. Very, very pretty color. I'm just going in with a pointed crease brush 
focusing that on the outer portion of my lid as you can see but just making sure to take my time and build up that dark blue just to add a nice amount of depth for this eye look in this shade it builds up very nicely Now that I have that shade down, I'm going into this beautiful, it kind of looks like a turquoise green type shade. It's called La Dolce Vida. And I'm just focusing that on the inner portion of my crease, taking another pointed crease brush, placing that shade down and just blending it into that first darker blue shade, making sure that those are nicely combined and blended together. Now to add an extra bit of dimension, I'm going into the shade Aquarama. Oh, this blue is so pretty, you guys. I love the shade of this blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Just taking that on the outer portion right next to that dark blue. And I decided I wanted to go ahead and add it on the inner portion of my lid as well, or should I say my crease, just above that turquoise shade. Now to blend those dark colors out, I'm going into the lighter shade Palazzo. Just taking a small fluffy brush, blending the edges of that out so it's not so harsh. If you want, you can actually go in with some of your face powder that's like the same color as your skin. So it's not as bright with the uh, lighter shadow. You know, just kind of blend it in with a skin tone powder as well. Now I'm just taking a wet wipe just to clean up the edges. Now to cut my crease, I'm going in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And this is the shade Halo. Tapping that a bit on my line or my eyeliner portion of my lid and looking up so I know exactly where to cut that crease. And just using a flat shader brush to tap that down, kind of in a bit of a half Kind of like a half moon now for the inner portion of my cut crease i'm going into this gorgeous light blue shimmer it's called spazado <laughs> sorry if i'm butchering these names i'll put them on the screen but going into that beautiful light blue shimmer it's really more of a beautiful kind of satin type shimmer and just tapping that on that inner portion of my cut crease now i'm going back into that beautiful aqua shade and just tapping that right next to that light blue shimmer. Making sure that I blend those two together in the center of my lid. Now I'm going back into that dark blue shade and just tapping that on the outer portion of my lid making sure that it blends very nicely into that aqua green shade. All of these colors look so pretty blended together, you guys. Now for my liner, I'm just using my NYX Black Liquid Liner, creating a nice little wing for this eye look. Nothing fancy. And this is what we have. So now that my complexion is done, we can move on to this lower lash line. I'm going to be using one of my Wet n Wild eyeliner pencils. This is one of my favorite colors by them. It's called Sapphire and Ice. And you guys, this blue really, really pops on that lower lash line. It's so pretty. Now I'm going back into La Dolce Vida. And I'm just using a shader brush just to kind of dust that just below that blue liner to add an extra bit of pop. I love these two colors together. They're so pretty. Now for my lips, I went in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. And I'm going to be using one of my Revolution in Tammy lip glosses today. This is in the shade Gone Rogue, and it's kind of like a really pretty mauve type shade. Very, very nice. I love how these lip glosses feel. 
I wasn't sure if I wanted an inner corner pop, but at the last minute I decided that I do. So I just took the first shade in the palette, which is Bellagio. Beautiful light shade and just used a fluffy brush to tap some of that on my inner corner. And I'm so glad I did because I believe it brought everything together. So this is the final look, you guys. I must say I really like this palette. I might be a little biased because I love blue eyeshadow, but the quality on these shadows is really, really nice. So hope you guys enjoy watching me create this look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!